Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today we're going to talk about exporting from SketchUp. So we've covered printing files, uh, where we talked about exporting files to layout and directly to the printer. We've talked about exporting animations, but we've never really gotten into just taking what's on your screen and exporting it. We have a couple of different ways we can export. We can export 2D geometry, so an image, which is kind of like a snapshot of what's on your screen right now, or we can actually take everything that's in your model and we can export that as a file. We're going to talk about both and when and where you might use them right now. Okay, so I have this little simple little house here, um, and I want to take this now and I want to export it. I want to take this and I want to create a 2D or 3D output. So first off, let's talk about when you might want to use which. So if my goal is to have this like a graphic, maybe I'm putting this into an article I'm writing or um, you know, this is going into some art I'm creating. I want to take this that I have on my screen and I want to put it somewhere else as a 2D image. That's when I'd export a 2D image. If I want to take the geometry, the three-dimensional geometry that exists in space at a specific scale, and I want to take that and put it into some other 3D modeling software, that's where I want to do a 3D export. They're both caught from, or they're both located in the same spot. If I go to File, and I go to export, I have the option of exporting a 3D model. See, that's that's telling too. This is exporting the full model, all the 3D geometry, as opposed to going to export and 2D graphic, a flat graphic. Let's look at graphics first. So if I go to export 2D, I can drop down. So this, this top section is going to change, right? So all of this is going to look different depending on which operating system you're using, uh, Windows or Mac, or even what version of those is going to maybe change how this looks. The important part is somewhere up here, you're going to define the name of the file you're going to export and set the location where it's going to go out to. That's, that's not the important part. The important part to SketchUp is what's down here. Specifically, this single line right here. This single line controls what's going to actually get output. So here I have, the first thing I have is format. So I have a couple options for a 2D output, which is a DWG or DXF. So these are generally referred to as CAD files. These are 2D versions of whatever's on the screen right now. Below that, I have some uh, bitmap image options. So I can output a JPEG or a PNG or a TIFF. So these are different versions of bitmap output. So these are going to be like, you know, a bunch of colored squares arranged to resemble what's on my screen. And then finally, I have some vector image options of PDF and EPS files down here that I can output. Again, all of these, any of these I output are going to create a file that looks like what's on my screen. And why I keep saying that is because if what you want to see is a top view of your house, then you have to make sure to change your view so you're looking at a top view of your house. If I hit output right now, it's going to output this kind of three-quarter view of the front of my house. Each of these options, as you go through them, if I click the options button right here, are going to have different controls. So what do I want to put out? With DWD or GXF, it's going to ask what version do you want to output? What profiles do you want to output? Section lines, edges. This kind of stuff is going to be specific to outputting a DWG or DXF. If I switch to JPEG, for example, and click options, I get a totally different set of options because the file output is very different. In this case, what size is the output that I'm outputting? I can use the view size. I can multiply the scale of the line. So make the line thicker or thinner than it shows up on the screen. And then, of course, with specific to JPEG, I can actually set the quality compression here also. Uh, likewise, like I said, if I drop all the way down to EPS and hit options, I get a whole other set of options. Uh, this is primarily thinking or talking about the scale of what I'm outputting and then line quality because, like I said, a vector-based output there is going to be different from what I would worry about with a bitmap output like I saw under JPEG. Any of those is going to output what's on the screen to your selected file format, and then you can use that in any other program that supports any of those types of files. If I want to take a 3D output, so the thing about a 3D output is it doesn't matter what's on my screen. 
So it doesn't matter how I have this spun around, where I'm looking at this file from. Um, you know, if I was looking at, if this is what's on my screen when I output a 2D drawing, I'm gonna get a big white file. And that's all that's gonna be there is just a field of white pixels. Uh, a 3D model export doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what's on your screen, it's going to export the geometry, all this geometry here. So if I go to File, Export, 3D Model, let's look at our options for exporting 3D models. Again, the UI is the same and it's gonna change depending on your operating system. But what's important again is just this one line down here. So you notice we do have DWG and DXF files here. You can export 2D or 3D files into those formats. So this is going to actually export differently. So if I hit options, I actually have very different options you can see here than what I saw before. Before it was creating a 2D drawing of what was on my screen. At this point, it's dumping out all that geometry. So it doesn't really care about line scaling or how it should put those things in there. It's worried about putting out, outputting geometry. What information do I want to have? What do I want to export? And I can set those options right here. Other file options in here too, 3DS, Collada FBX, a KMZ file, which is an old Google Earth file format. I have a couple options for IFC files, an OBA, OBJ file, STL file, VRML, and XSI file. So again, all of these are gonna have slightly different uh, options when you come through here because the file format that's being exported requires different data. You're gonna want to export a 3D file if I wanna take the model that you've or if you wanna take the model you have created in SketchUp and import it into some other program. This could be some animation software. This could be a different 3D modeling or painting software where I wanna take this 3D geometry as it is and export it and use it over there. Um, this is some place that, that people spend a lot of time fine tuning and come in here and really get those uh, items lined up so you export perfectly. Other people like to just kind of quick and dirty dump it out in a file format that works and then clean it up on the other end. Either way, if that, that portion is kind of up to you. The important thing is any of these file formats can be exported. So make sure that you align the importing options of your other software with the exporting file format that you're using from here. So that really covers everything I can think of about exporting files. I know it's not, not the most exciting, uh, most captivating. It's not the same as like the first time you see push pull, but a lot of times you create a model here in SketchUp because it's quick, it's easy, it's enjoyable, dare I say fun, to create the model, but you actually need it for another program downstream. And this is how you get the file out of SketchUp and into that other format. If you like that video, go ahead and click like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you think would be good for a Square One video. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.